Hi, I'm Dave Nauber. I am the brand director of Class A, and I'm here at Listen Up in Denver. We're going to do a little unboxing video. We've got um, the Amp 2 and the Amp 5, which is a stereo amp and a 5-channel amp here. They both have the same size chassis, so they use the same packaging. So we'll just do unboxing on one. Just want to show you a couple of things first before we open it up. Uh, you'll notice that it's a white box. Uh, not a lot of people ship in a white box, but we like it for a couple of reasons. One is it looks pretty. This packaging is 100% recycled material. Because it's plastic, it allows you to clean the box. If you're particular about the product like we are at Class A, um, you might keep your boxes, and if you do, you want them to be nice and clean. If they get delivered a little bit dirty, you can take some Windex or something and clean them right up. So, uh, so it's a nice white box. Let's have a look inside. Thing I forgot to mention, you'll see the labeling here, which tells the model number, the serial number. There's also a voltage number. Uh, with most consumer electronics products, the voltage uh, is set for the country that you're um, making your purchase in, so 120 volts in the U.S. Uh, these products are uh, different in that they use a type of power supply that can be used in other markets as well. So even if you had a 120 volt unit, you could use it in a country where the voltage was 230 or even 100 volts in Japan. Put it back on its base and just lift the cover off. What you see here is the Class A accessories and foam which protects the unit. So I'll just pull this apart. And we'll have a quick look at the accessories. You see uh, an owner's manual. Um, the owner's manual is not this white thing. The owner's manual is the USB key. And this can also be used to do software updates. So if you wanted to, uh, needed to do a, a software update in an amplifier, you just plug the USB key into the socket in the back of the amp, turn the amp on, and it'll do the update automatically do your um, warranty registration, and away you go. There's also, of course, the power cord, some other small accessories. If you have something with a, uh, a DC trigger, uh, you can use this wire to connect the DC trigger in the back of the amplifier. And then lastly, strange things over here, these are little covers, um, magnetically held covers, that are used if you should rack mount the amplifier. So there's a very um, clever way of um, storing the rack handles, which I'll show you later. And when you uh, rack the amplifier, you put these covers in place to conceal the rack screws. They're held magnetically in place. All right, so let's get to the unit itself. First, You'll notice, notice very nice, it's in a, a cloth cover, which has the Class A logo on it. Move this out of the way. The second thing is to note that when I sit the unit on the table, I can pull the cover off, and uh, this is a way of allowing you to put the product onto the shelf at your house, wherever it's going to be installed, without your, the oils from your fingers ever touching the component. And once it's installed, it comes off. There's also a piece of foam in the back, which is used to protect the connectors. So there you have it.